Dann gucken wir mal, was da hinten leuchtet. The room is like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Mm. Ah, jetzt. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, mm. hoping to leave the curse behind. Okay, einfach mal das Haus aufs Schiffchen gespannt und los geht's. 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Das sieht aber tatsächlich nach echten Bildern aus. Also, würde ich jetzt fast sagen. Okay. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Das ist wohl wahr. Machst du? Sven und Edi. gebaut. Sven Finch. Aha. Okay, gehen wir mal hier raus. Oh Gott. Du Scheiße. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Ach du Scheiße. It was a pretty big trace. So. Oh, jetzt noch ein Schloss. Ist das wieder eine Geheimtür? S There's a secret in this bathroom by Edie and... By Sven and Edie Fitch. So, whip. Auf damit. There's a secret in this bathroom. Oh. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. <laughs> so gut gemacht. Whoop. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. So some Bilder machen hier. Bilder hier entwickelt. Ja, und so kommen wir jetzt in das andere Kinderzimmer. Fort Calvin. Wie cool es aussieht. Hier ist so eher die andere Seite. Fehlt auch die Brücke. Okay, dann machen wir hier mal das. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. <coughs> okay. Calvin. Elf Jahre alt. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. 
At Barbara's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Okay. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Whoa. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Oh God. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Oh god. He was I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Schlagen. Ja, jetzt nehme ich glaube ich wieder Fahrt auf. Wow. Okay. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Oh Gott. <lacht> Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Okay. Das war also Calvin's kleine Geschichte. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Sollen wir das wieder zumachen, oder? Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Can we da ah, da. <coughs> okay. Das sind lauter Geheimnisse. Lauter Geheimnisse, die irgendwie von Zimmer zu Zimmer führen. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Hilton. Uh. Growing up, I Barbara. always thought of Barbara as a child star. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Okay, also war sie tatsächlich ein Star? Das sieht fast so aus, ne? Da kann man leider nicht lesen. Aber hier, my friend Bigfoot. Barbara Finch. Okay, sie war tatsächlich ein... Deswegen steht hier wahrscheinlich auch Bigfoot. Oh Gott, es gab sogar eine Puppe von ihr. Creepy. Hat sie da auch mitgespielt? Schwansee? Man sieht's nicht. Deswegen auch die Tür hier. Der Blick auf Barbara. Happy Birthday. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. 16, wenn ich richtig gezählt habe. Bob Street. Gucken wir mal hier. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. 
I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Mm -hmm. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Oh, good. Getting better, I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, and current boyfriend, Rick was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Hmm. Okay, I'm hearing frustration. But I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding... Until finally, the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. Mm, good. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Oh Gott. Der Michel. Der lässt mich niemals los. Oh Gott, und da muss ich es dann noch selber runter. Michel, bist du's? She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Das ist ja mal richtig geil gemacht. Also ich kann damit schauen. Oh Gott, Michel. Ach du Scheiße. Gut so. Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Was well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you Richtig so. Out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? <laughs> and she was still holding it when she fell asleep. Watching the late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Oh god. Was ein Trick? Junge, 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 lass es mal bitte.
Orca's Island police describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh, good. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> Das Fenster oder? Jetzt gehen wir von hinten dran und schlagen ihn erstmal. Das hat er auch nicht mitgekriegt, ne? Ich will da runter. Hier. Komm her, ich schau dir noch eine über, ey. Er ist weg. Dann gehen wir doch mal gucken. They were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. <laughs> Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. They took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara... Tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Was? Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Was zur Hölle? Mal zu deinem Ohr rein. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Okay, Barbara, das war deine Story.